Today we'll be talking about the A10 Stream Live HD, the all-in-one multi-channel AV mixer. So the A10 Stream Live HD includes one UC9020 Stream Live HD, a USB Type A to Type C cable, a USB Type A to Type A cable, one AC power cord, and one user instructions. To set up your mixer, all you have to do is plug in the power cord and the preset buttons will light up. This means the mixer is booting on. To have the dual camera set up, just plug in your HDMI cords connected to your cameras in the HDMI 1 and HDMI 2 ports separately. If you want a bigger screen to monitor what you're doing, you can connect to the SRC PGM port. To go online, you can plug your Ethernet cord here. Plug in an external hard drive to save your live stream. And you can also plug in an external microphone. On the right is where you plug in the USB cable provided. I have an iPad so I use the Type-A to Type-A cable and an adapter. If you have an iPad Pro, use the USB Type-A to Type-C cable. On the hardware, you would find the transition bar, auto and cut button, the 8 scene preset buttons, pause and go live button, SRC PGM button, and audio settings. And open the 810 on air app. Click start or reload project. You can create multiple projects with different templates. With the A10 UC9020, you can live stream presentations, gameplays, and even more. Name your project and you're good to go. Now that you're done setting up your mixer, I'll show you how to use it. So as you can see, there are two squares here. One is in red and one is green. So the red means it's in program. Program is what your viewers see while you're live streaming. And preview is the scene that you can use for a transition. So if, if I just move the transition bar, what was my preview is now my program. Then I could do a transition with the auto button, which is basically the transition bar, which is a soft transition, and the cut button, which is a hard transition. So then you can see there are eight presets down here. You can change your presets as you like. So you can change the layout by just pressing the gear and then you could add pictures like this live button. I can edit it if I want it bigger, like so. I could add some designs like this cloud. Then I could also add some texts. So if I just add a hi and I'll just press OK. Then I don't see my hi, right? So I just have to click the square where my hi is and I can see where it is. So here is the high. You can also change the layout as picture in picture or the dual screen like side by side. So if I want to present, I could see that on the left is me and on the right is my presentation. Or I could just have my presentation like so. Then I have my laptop on my side. Then while I'm speaking, I can just enter my presentation like this. Okay, so here is the audio and then here is the volume for HDMI 1, HDMI 2, a microphone if you've attached one, the speakers, and program. So program is the volume for the whole video or for your whole live stream. Here are earphones if you want to check the audio quality, you just have to inject it in the audio jack on the side. And then here we have settings. So with the A10 Stream Live HD, you can actually go live on two platforms, let's say Facebook and YouTube. So here is where you put the settings. So this is server 1, server 2, and then you just have to paste the URL of your live and the stream key. 
You can also manually put your IP address, your internet here. And then here you can adjust the transition period for your transition bar or the auto button from one to three seconds. So if your video is not in line with your audio, you can actually adjust the audio delay so that it would match. So when you pause on your live, it gives you options on whether the screen would be black or you can upload your own screen. Okay, so let's say you want to use the dual camera setup, but then you also have a presentation. All you have to do is plug in your two cameras separately in HDMI 1 and HDMI 2 A or B. Then just go to your preset. I'll choose this one because it has the picture in picture. Go to the gear. And then you'd see here there's actually an A and B. So my second camera is in B, so I'll just click B. And then you'll have a notification, but then you'll just have to press got it. And then press apply. So there you have your dual camera setup in one preset. To save your files, plug in a USB 3.0 hard drive or USB 3.0 flash drive. Then go to settings. Click on the external storage. Click the gear icon so you can customize the name of the recording. And tap the split by time drop down menu to select how long a recording is before splitting into another recording. Press save and your live stream will automatically save in the hard drive after you've live streamed. Usually to have this kind of setup needs a lot more equipment, but the UC9020 has simplified the process into one mixer. In addition, the UC9020 Stream Live HD was presented with multiple awards such as the Good Design Award, Best Choice Award, Product Innovation Award, and Future Best of Show Award. You can get one for only 77,000 pesos at philnippon.com.